Hi, welcome to 151 Garage. I'm Sean. I'm Jill. And today we're going to talk about one of the issues we had with the uh, Bronco Sport. So one of the hates we had, and it's not really a hate, again, it's something we could deal with. It wasn't a deal breaker. It was just a item that was kind of an annoyance. They do have a button that you can push, and it's the auto start stop function of the vehicle. You gotta remember to push that button. <laughs> yeah, you gotta remember. You'll you'll remember the first stop light you get to, it'll shut off and yeah. you're like, oh god, you have to do it. Now we know what it's there for. We know it's there to you know save on gas and save the environment and stuff like that. But it is one of those things that we don't like along with a lot of other people. And they do have a device, the auto stop eliminator that is available for pretty much every vehicle out there. They just made one for ours. We're gonna install it here in a second. But to tell you a little bit about it, it is a plug and play. All you have to do is plug it in, push the button, and it will remember where you put, whether it be the auto stop function on or off, uh, the next time you start the vehicle. You don't have to keep pressing every, every, uh, every time you turn the vehicle on. And the good thing about this is, if you don't want that anymore, and you want to make sure you turn it back into the, the uh, dealership with it, you know, not Added. installed, yeah. you can actually take it out and it'll go right back to the way it was before this was installed. So there's no computer, you know, modifications that you have to go back and recalibrate the computer or reprogram uh, the computer. There is no silly things where you have to defer the the wiring to something else they did have a few functions or they did have a few ways to go around it this is the safest method i'll tell you some of them that were kind of sketchy they had one that was if you have a trailer or a trailer tow package you can unplug that trailer tow package or the trailer fuse and it will be fine but your trailer lights won't work yeah, so you what are you going to do if you forget to put the thing back on? You're going to be screwed on your trailer. Exactly. So <laughs> it kind of defeats the purpose. It's a little bit of a safety issue. So we didn't want to go that way. We didn't want to go the route of reprogramming the computer. What that's going to do, it's going to cost you a lot of money. And if you ever want to tra uh, trade it in or change it, you're going to have to have them reprogram it again to back to stock, which defeats the purpose. It, you're going to spend twice as much to do it. Yeah. They also had another, another uh, thing that they were doing that they would unplug something underneath the hood. I didn't want to go that route because all I need to do is get water in that plug, short something out, and now I got a huge issue. My car yeah. doesn't work. Other other features aren't working. A very expensive so issue. So this is the safest route we've seen. We've done a lot of research on it. We uh, talked to a couple other people who put it in there. They absolutely love it. And again, if you don't want it anymore, you just remove it. Now we'll put a link below to Auto Stop Start uh, Eliminator. And we also will do the picture uh, somewhere on the screen that shows just how easy it is. Now we will go through it step by step of how to do it, how to put it in, where to find the plug and what the function does afterwards. Yeah, auto start or auto stop eliminator.com. Yeah, we'll put a link down below. Again, you know, it's a simple thing and we'll uh, per vehicle. So yeah. each one is say if you have an F one fifty that has that little auto start stop, they probably have one just like that. They do for that. Because somebody asked about that, oh, and I actually okay. sent them the link for the one that was, they were asking for. So, But yeah, this isn't universal from vehicle to vehicle. Yeah, each one is made specifically for that vehicle. Yeah, so because the plugs will be different per vehicle. Yeah. Anyways, we'll go ahead and cut to us putting it in and show you what the functions are and show you just how easy it is. Okay, see you in a second. Okay, first off, where you're going to find that location for the plug is under here, basically right in front of the dead pedal. Now, what you have to do is, here's the plug itself. This is what the plug looks like going in. So there's a little tab on the bottom, and there's a little 
piece right here you can pull on. Don't pull on the wires. Uh, you don't want the uh, wires to get pulled out of the socket and ruin basically the connection for this or this itself. So let's go ahead and pull that out. Not that you can see it, it is hanging down just a little bit. It is a very tight fit, it is hard to get back there. So you're gonna have to finagle your fingers up on top and be able to pry it out at the same time you're actually pushing the clip up. So all you're gonna do is connect this into the plug that comes down to the, the basically the connection underneath and this plugs into the one that actually the uh, update your software and stuff like that or check your computer and stuff. So, there you go, one done, Ow. and, okay, if you're not limber, this is going to be real difficult, so let me see if I can show you, if not, I'll cut this out, let me see that light, you're basically looking at this plug right here, and the plug behind it is plugged in right there. So as you can see, this right here is hanging down. It does come with two zip ties that'll actually uh, be able to secure everything up nice and neat. I'm not gonna do it just yet because I wanna make sure everything works before I zip tie it up because then I'm gonna have to cut the zip ties which is gonna create another problem. So let's see if it functions first before I actually secure everything. Right now it's on, I just started it. And that's the way it usually comes on. That's the way it usually comes on when it actually starts up. Now, we're gonna go ahead and turn it off. Auto start stop Auto deactivated. start de deactivated. And then we'll go ahead and turn the car off. Let it cycle through so it shuts everything off. So let's start it up again. So it stays off. If I want to leave it this way, I can leave it this way. Every time I turn the car off, it will actually stay off or stay off. And then when I turn it back on, it'll remain in the off position until I turn it off or back on in this matter it will actually stay in whatever mode I leave it in last. So as far as, as long as I don't touch this to turn it on, I don't have to worry about it. So never have to press that button again and you never have to worry about it again. So it's automatically off until you turn it back on. Okay, so there you go. You see how easy it was? It wasn't too bad. Easy install, easy removal, and functions as advertised, or not as advertised because you don't want that function anymore. So, win-win. <laughs> um, it was an easy peasy lemon squeezy. <laughs> what are we, kindergarten? <laughs> Anyways, we hope you like this video. We hope you find it informative, and hopefully uh, you'll see the next video, what we got coming on. So we got a few things in the works. Um, please subscribe, notify, and hit the like button. And, uh, and share the videos. Yeah, share the videos. If you need an auto stop eliminator, uh, go ahead and check the link below. We aren't sponsored by them, but we do like the product, and we figured we'd give them a shout out. I need to get them for whatever other vehicles we get. Probably the Bronco. So that'll be next. Someday. Or a unicorn. Or a unicorn. Yep. Anyways. <laughs> Hope you liked the video and hope to see you next time. Bye. Bye.